Next up, here's even more incredible stuff happening with drones. Let me introduce you to this company from Oxford. They're replanting the rainforest by using flying drones. That's just wow. Please give it up for Susan Graham, CEO and co-founder of Dendra Systems. In Greek mythology, Atlas was condemned to hold the weight of the sky on his shoulders, which is often depicted as holding the weight of the earth. Today, for the people who shoulder that, it's only getting harder. Climate change is well known, measurable, and the impacts are evident. And since 1700, the emissions from human activity have been considerable. Now, it's only because Earth itself has absorbed so much of that that we're not in a worse off position. And yet still, it's out of balance. Climate change is perhaps our first true threat to humanity and life on Earth as we know it. The second is biodiversity loss, but it's not so easily quantifiable. Even though extinctions like the dodo and the Tasmanian tiger are well known, quantifying biodiversity loss and biodiversity risk is complex. These two challenges are really two sides of the same coin, with nature in the middle. At Dendra, our purpose is to prepare our planet for a more resilient future. We have reimagined ecosystem restoration using technology, and our environmental managers, who are our customers, are at the heart of this, shouldering both the sky and the land. It's our mission to empower environmental managers from around the world to restore ecosystems at a landscape scale, to empower them with technology that provides transparency, accountability, drives better decision making, and leads to better outcomes. Our Restoration OS is a SaaS-enabled end-to-end solution that quantifies biodiversity, monitors environmental risks, and kicks off the restoration process with a drone-based aerial seeding. So how does it work? In this video, if it were to play, there we go, um, we provide the infrastructure to monitor environmental uh, sites at scale and the platform to drive the necessary interventions. By combining drone technology with ecology-trained AI, we're able to capture and analyze massive amounts of data and provide new insights to direct restoration work, monitor ecosystem health, and seed large biodiverse ecosystems. All of this happens in a cycle that is ongoing for long-term sustainable impacts for our environment and the communities in which we work. We've operated over 20 different ecosystem types, five continents, and by the end of this year, we will have restored enough land that will sequester one and a half million tons of carbon dioxide, as well as restoring the critical biodiversity in coastal and inland ecosystems. <laughs> Zooming in on one of those projects, we've got a mangrove restoration project, which is partnered with a government and an ambitious project to restore 27 million mangroves over the next five years, as well as analyzing 155,000 hectares of land. In our ability to scale up this restoration effort again and again and again, we are getting closer to achieving our purpose of preparing our planet for a more resilient future. So here we are in the UN Decade for Ecosystem Restoration. And we, for the last nine years, have been doing exactly that, restoring, planets, restoring our planet and reversing the loss of nature. And each year, we've had increasing support. And I want to thank Norskin for being part of that wave of support here. My name is Susan Graham. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Dendra Systems. We're raising our Series B, so get in touch. And I invite you to join us as we lift this weight and rebalance our natural world. <laughs>